Good morning. So what are we looking at here? Well, behind me is Lole. We're looking to the north. Behind me is Lole that you can see on the, on the hillside. And then this road here is the A22 highway. And it's obviously not very busy because it's sort of autumn. It's almost the 1st of November. Tomorrow's the 1st of November. And it's about 10 to 7 in the morning. So, but it's, gonna, it's like 15 degrees right now and it's going to be about 20 degrees today. So, so just you can outline. And we're going to go and head over and try and find the best Bifana. Wait, what's a Bifana? So a Bifana is a classic Portuguese sandwich eaten all across the country. Although in the north, it's actually served with shredded pork and a sauce. While in the south, here in the south, it's actually a lighter sandwich which uses a pork cutlet or just a normal fillet of pork and a light marinade usually made of oil and garlic. So we set ourselves a mission. It's like early morning, let's go and see what people are doing. Are they having Bifanas for breakfast? Really? Are they? And how many can we eat by two o'clock? Hey, hey good morning, buddy. Top of the morning, man. Hey, doing? All right, all right. How's it going? Yeah, nice to hang out up here. <laughs> yeah, what are you? Uh, what are we doing up here, man? We're filming a train. Um, as it's thrilling stuff. Well, this is we a need... really good concept for a video, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to get into something, and I thought train spotting was a great way to do it. Train know? spotting. <laughs> yeah, the Alpha Pendelard, which is the daily train, is going to come right beneath our feet in any second. You can actually hear them in the in the distance doing the. But in all seriousness. Announcements. I've dragged you here because I want to check out how good this Bifana is at the local cafe, at the train station. Every time well, I come here to there. go to Lou, yeah, just here, just down here. And uh, every time I come here, I'm amazed by um, what seems to get churned out, but more so the uh, farmers drinking shots and drinking beer at 6.45 in the morning. So um, we thought we'd come and check it out. No, no, it's a bit of a dodgy spot, but let's go check it out. So have you eaten one of these before? Not here actually, no? I'm not here. Not here. Yes, yes, yes. What's it here? Mm. So that backfired a bit because um, she's not ready with the bifana. Sure. No, it's not ready. Smell it in the oven. It is in the oven actually. I yeah. saw it in the oven, it looked a little bit raw to me. So I think we're not going to risk it. I mean, we've got to... First of all, I want to tell you why next trick. Yeah, why am I drinking beer? It's, it's, it's quarter past seven in the morning. Because you're a raging alcoholic. <laughs> no, actually, everybody else here is drinking beers. You're going to do what the locals do, no? If, it's, if you're going to do that, where's the shot of Madronius for uh, early morning? Yeah, maybe a drink, but I can't do that. can't do Madronius. Everyone else has got one. Coffees and Madronius, I think called a Sherino. I feel not a Madronio. <laughs> yeah, Madronio, no, eh? Well, he said I should come for his mild workout, and it wasn't mild, but it was awesome. Yeah, you do well. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on, but it was awesome. It was like sweat pouring off me. And this amazing guy holding the camera. How's it, Christian? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you did it. Great. So you go. No, no, I just said we've earned our bifanas for the day. So that was the aim of this: is just to get sweaty and uh, introduce Nick to a, a different fitness regime and uh, prepare for the day. Yeah, and I was just down the road from the Bifana place and now we have to go on mission to go and find as many Bifana places as we can, stuff in our faces before lunch up. Perfect. So we've arrived in Faro and it's a little bit rainy, a little bit miserable, but um, we're on a mission to find that it's Bifana because we haven't eaten all day. I mean, have you haven't eaten, have you? No, no, we've done the workout and we haven't eaten yet. So, it's like um, half past 10 and I'm ravenous. Well, we did go seven o'clock to find one, but... Yeah, we had a little bit of a beer. I think that was the only sustenance I've had. But they were still cooking it, so we struggled there, so... Proper Portuguese day, this, man. Garlic and beer. Well, I think we're heading up this way. Okay. Closed. No way. We're not doing well. <laughs> we're, we're two strikes out. Oh uh, yeah, 2nd of November. It's closed until 2nd of November. That is not tomorrow, but the okay, next day. Days early. Okay, so we're going to have to go and find another Bifana. You wouldn't, you'd think it's not this difficult to find a Bifana in Portugal. I mean, this is the most common dish ever. Okay, so um, we're sitting here in the Botequim de Baixa. Like, I know this place so well. Never been here before in my life. <laughs> But they've got Bifanas for 350 each. Is um, it is the bus terminal? Yes. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. I don't know if you are you as ravenous as I am. Yeah, I mean like 
I think I could eat three of these things in one go. We've got to sort of pace ourselves because we've got a long day to go. We'll be fine, be fine, be fine. Our first, our first side of the fire. It's looked good. How do you judge this thing? Well, I'm, I'm a crispy Bifana kind of guy. So for me, first look will be on the inside. This is very garlicky, look at this. Oh, nice and thin in some bits. If it's too thick for me, I'm, I'm not a fan, but you know, you talk to any Portuguese, the key is this, mustard. You find them, right? That's good. You have to have a lot to compare it to. Mm. Pretty ordered two because we should have had a half each. Yeah, but this is the first one of the day. No, but Nick, then we're going to be so stuffed. We're going to have like six of these things. How are we going to do this and not go? After dealing with my irrational fear of eating too many bifanas and crapping Nick out, <laughs> I apologize and we moved on to the next one. I agree, Nick. Famished. Still. Mm. I could eat another couple. I'm actually pretty full. One's enough for me. I'm getting old. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. It's crispy. Yeah. Yeah. Only half Look at this one. one. Look at this one. Where's yours? <laughs> This one is very different to the other one, it's amazing. It's like a little bit drier, and the roll's a little bit drier. And the crispiness makes it taste a little bit more like bacon. So it's really, it's really good, but very different. What do you think? No, I'm the same. I'm, like, I'm a big fan of the bacon, um, bacon style, uh, as I mentioned earlier. And this is, this is I'm cheating here because this is my, like, it was a local cafe for me for two years. So I kind of know what I'm getting here. Um, I dragged you here because I think it's one of my favorites. So, um, so yeah, it's good to see what happens in your mind by the end of it. I'm just loving the seriousness of what you're taking this task is, like analyzing it before. It's like so important. Just look at that. What? Just it. The crispiness. There's no garlic in this. This is great. Well, no, it's certainly not cloves. So yeah, just yum. Bon appetit. Let's recap quickly. So we started off in Lolo train station, which didn't go so well. Vipped over to Faro, and we tried Adega Nova, didn't go so well either. And third time lucky was Botaking de Baixa. Then after that, we whipped over to Sabor Dos in Faro, and then we drove to Olhão, and we ended up in Zito's Snack Cafe in the industrial area. Okay, we found ourselves in Olhão, and um, we really should be having beer, but it's a working day, man. Can't do that. <laughs> but all the other guys are doing beers and madronos and stuff, but we just can't do that. So we've ordered another bifana, splitting it down the middle this time. And then we're going to head off to another area in Olyan as well. This is right next to the fishing, fishing spot. And we're going to test out the quality of this guy. It's pretty good. It's, it's a bit oily, a bit more oily and buttery. You can kind of see, you know, down here. Um, much much thinner meat rather than the other places it's a little bit tighter on the uh, the amount but um it's very tasty i think that this is this is the best bread we've had That's yeah i agree the bread is nice and soft which is really good but it's it's like a distinct lack of garlic which is quite it's like one of the key components there's nothing wrong with it man i don't think we'll get sick on this huh i just want to i just want to say like my mouth is feeling like totally coated in garlic and oil and it's not feeling that good and um Maybe I'm just not used to this. Maybe I'm not that guy who can have the madronio in the morning and the beer and the bifana. Maybe you need to be tough to be a proper Portuguese eater. I yeah, but think about the quantity. How many of them do people actually eat? You know, we're, we're on a challenge here to, to see the different ones in different places. So you're probably breaking a norm. <laughs> Love to break the norms. Struggling to force these bifanas down, man. Looks like we've got one more to go here. Maybe two. We are in Estoy, taking that leap up from Faro, and we've now slipped into Cafe Cubana, which is just off the sort of historic church. And um, it's a bit dark in here, and 
we will wait and see what the uh, flavors of the Bifana are going to be here. Bifana, ah, oh, very good. Look at this. So this is what Nick referred to as anemic. So I'm not sure if he enjoyed this one too much, but hey, we've got to head off. All right, so bro, yeah, let's analyze those that Bifana because it's like. To be honest, it, was, it might have been a little bit slightly underdone. It wasn't underdone, but it just felt a little bit, it wasn't crispy, like you like it, right? I don't like the anemic looking. Um, anemic? You mean anemic. like lack of, less of, lack of blood? You yeah, prefer it more bloody? It just looked a bit sort of grey, uh, but actually it was very tasty. They seemed to cook it in quite a lot of juice. And I think the, the, the galau, the coffee, helped me a little bit to sort of like reset my taste buds and stuff. So I'm feeling a bit more strong. I think we can do another one. So go one more on this? One more. Okay, where are we going now? I don't know, let's see. How's it, uh, how's it going, bro? <laughs> nice to see you. Do you mind if I sit down? Oh, please, please. Are you having a, a bifana with us? Well, yes, I will have one. Really? Yes. All right. Philippus has been a buddy for years, and he's got a fantastic Greek restaurant down in Amansil, so go check it out. It's fantastic. You've got to experience that. Okay, go. One, two, three, go. Cheers. Cheers, bro. How are you feeling, Nick? I'm feeling all right. I think luckily combining breakfast and lunch together has probably saved my my bacon. Pardon the pun. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty stuffed, but I feel you know like what? We've, done some, we've covered some ground. I think this thing saved me. And I know it's um, it just, just cleaned my whole palate because before I had the beer, I was feeling a little bit like oily, garlicky, and I was like, oh. But now it's uh, it's feeling good. I, I could actually do another one. Really? Yeah, I could. No, if you okay. had to, yeah. Huh? So is that your top tip? Be fun top tip, yeah, because beer. everybody else does it. Like you yeah. saw those guys this morning, they were having beers and stuff, and it just like smooths it out. But obviously, one has to be, you know, obey the law and watch the drinking and driving and all that kind of stuff. So that's important. Very important. These guys aren't drinking and driving. They're just jumping onto the truck with all the other people and they will yeah. go so we're, operate heavy machinery. So which one was your favorite? My best Bifana is the Bifana coming up. Lucinda, who was a super yacht chef um, and is now working from home, has decided to help us make a super cool, exquisite, luxury Bifana. But a little bit about where they came from. The only thing I know is that they originated from Vendage Novas in the Alentejo, or so this little village claims. Now, in order for us to find out a little bit more info, I think the only way to do is go there and speak to the people. But that's a story for another day. Let's go over to Lucinda. Okay, so this is Lucinda. She's very kindly agreed to make the best Bifana in the whole of Portugal, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lucinda is a personal chef fitness trainer and nutritional coach with a focus on improving quality of life by striving for balance in all things. And she's crazy about sourdough bread. Cook Absolutely not. Having some lemon juice because I forgot lemon juice. I may have left the pork out the whole last night and I'm sure it's fine, isn't it? It's fine, huh? I'm not saying anything. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not putting myself... Um, well, we'll give it to Nick and see if he if he uh, disagrees with it. So I'm the guinea pig, am I? You're the guinea pig. Yeah. It doesn't smell. We've we've done the smell test. You just have to ask for Do you think it's fine because I left, I left the pork out? I think it looks good. <laughs> don't, I won't don't, know. don't make me answer that we, question. We, we won't know until tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's probably yeah. about three hours time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just to cut some of the mustard. The dishes. You do the dishes. I'll do it afterwards, yeah. I'll do it. yeah. Oh, cheers. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. That, that is awesome. amazing. Give it a go. Right, wow. tell me if you need another napkin. So what we have here is two massive chunks of sourdough bread, which are super tasty butter, cheese, 
prosunto and the pork fillets marinated and it was just and then obviously there was like onions and red peppers on top but it was fantastic it was so tasty man i dream of this bifana afterwards so let us know in the comments if you've ever experienced a luxury bifana like this before fabulous sandwich my babe <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Susan. You're welcome. <laughs> You're so it was awesome. amazing. It was amazing. I'm it absolutely well. stuffed, man. And that is why the Portuguese are obsessed with these sandwiches. Check back next week as we go cruising around the Algarve and looking. We find three communities of digital nomads. Thanks for watching. Algarve Addicts.com.